defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. And if I had to quote him, it probably would go like this. Here's a little payback for you, young fella. <laughs> From the hero, Steve at one end to the goat at the other. still have been patting himself on the back and he forgot to play a little defense. Carter Williams with the bucket. Sixers are certainly looking to build something special on the court. And to that end, close by at the Navy Yard. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been... Now, Carter Williams, right now averaging 17 points a game. Martinez outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Patience and get. Getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark, and getting the ball inside into that lane area has been huge for them. They set the pick. Back to Carter Williams. Here's McDaniels. Passes it to Carter Williams. He dishes it to Mba Amute. And there's a whistle that goes on Luke Mba Amute. That's his first foul. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No flop there. He took that one right in the chest. Martinez outside. It could go. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers. 76ers with some changes. Malcolm Thomas has checked in for Embiid. And Bahamute comes in for Jason Richardson. And it's McDaniels in for Carter Williams. We've got Mbaamute. Tony Roten out there with McDaniels. Then it's Thomas. And it's Covington in at the four-man position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. They've really flipped things around offensively. Well, anytime you can make more than half your shots, Clark, you take that any day of the week. Here's McDaniels, guarded by Robinson. Thomas a screen. Here's Roten. A follow pulls it in. The Nuggets leading by six. You know, one thing you like about Aaron Aflalo, he's an outstanding post-up player for a guard. At 6'5", he's got a real knack for scoring with his back to the bucket. And it's the 76ers with the ball. They'll be off to Boston for a meeting with the Celtics after this one. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Cav Nuggets coach Brian Shaw altering the Nuggets offense from the dribble drive motion offense to a more post-up style of play. He still wants to push the pace to exploit Denver's altitude, but he feels to be successful. They have Around the top five in efficiency in the post in the entire NBA last season. Yeah, and his sweet spot really extends on the court. 
not just from the post, but all the way to the corners. In fact, he loves to work the baseline, Kevin. Embiid, he's checked in for Thomas. Denver's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. The shot's good from Martinez. I like the way they've played here in the first half. Just an intelligent floor game, getting good shots. Numbers certainly back that up. They're shooting a much better percentage. Chandler with the block. McDaniels kicks to Roten. And there's the pass to McDaniels. Here's Covington. Hands it from downtown. Covington's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Denver leading by eight. Martinez up top. 12 points for him. A follow outside. Back to Martinez. From deep three-point range and released it in time, but it's off the mark. That'll do it for the first half. Nuggets lead by eight. Hey guys, listen up. We've got a good lead, but lots of basketball. And the second half, some changes for Philadelphia. Robert Covington's checked in for Malcolm Thomas. Richardson comes in for Mba Amute. And it's Tony Roten in for McDaniel. Big group substitution here for Denver. Mozgov, he's checked in for Kenneth Fareed. Alonari comes in for Wilson Chandler. Harris is checked in for Aaron Aflala. And it's Foy in for Robinson. So on the floor for Denver. Gallinari is out there with Mozgov. And there's JaVale McGee. Then there's Harris. And it's Foy in at the point guard. Here's Carter Williams. He's on target from eight feet out. Carter Williams has got six here in this quarter. Well, we haven't seen him play too many games like this one before. This has to be fun for him. Martinez, the pass to four. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Fires for three. Tries again. The offensive rebound. Here's Martinez. Persistence Martinez. pays off as they finally hit a shot. Martinez has got 14 points for the game. The 76ers trailed by three. Roden kicks to Carter Williams. It's Richardson on the wing. 11 feet away. The basket good off the assist from Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got his seventh assist here tonight. Here's Martinez. Knocks down the three ball. 17 points in the game. And he's made the most of his chances, hasn't he? He really needs to continue to work for those good looks. Carter Williams against Martinez. In the corner, it's Richardson. Shot is no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. You know, so often in the NBA, we talk about how you have to earn your points the hard way, but... Didn't seem like that was the case. Everything came pretty easily. Too many of their points came the easy way, Steve. You're right. On dunks and layups against a defense that didn't really put up much resistance. 56 seconds left to play here in the third. And Carter Williams slams it in. Tremendous stuff from a guy Clark we think more of for his passing. Yeah, but he's got tremendous leaping ability and a surplus supply, too. Well, that's a great, aggressive move and two big points, too. Here's Martinez. No good from outside. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Richardson dishes to Roten. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by the Nuggets. McGee's got four rebounds now tonight. Plenty of space. And the shot no good, a bit short. Now Carter Williams. Baseline try. Oh, off target. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. And for on top, they lead by four. We're going to step aside. Philadelphia. 
Robert Covington's checked in for Embiid. Richardson comes in for Mbamut. And it's Carter Williams in for McDaniels. Big group substitution here for Denver. Mozgov, who's checked in for Kenneth Fareed. Alinari comes in for Wilson Chandler. G's checked in for Aaron Aflalo. And it's Martinez in for Nate Robinson. Carter Williams in Roten, pairing up in the backcourt. Malcolm Thomas is out there with Robert Covington. And it's Richardson in at the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. A shot by Carter Williams. Nobody around. Another miss by Philadelphia. So the Nuggets win it. They pulled off the... Well, Nate, this team has shown in a game like... Live on 2K Sports, this is Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight is Doris Burke. Thrilled to be back in Boston. The Celtics ready for that home court advantage. They beat the Nuggets during their last encounter in Denver. That was a game in hostile territory, too, guys. And it seemed like they had confidence right from the beginning, unbothered by being on the road. And, you know, let's see what's... Denver in the lead. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Well, earlier I spoke with Brad Stevens. I asked him what players he was really eyeing on the scouting report, and he said one that might surprise you, Kenneth Marie. He said he plays with so much energy and effort. He really sets the bar. If we can limit his impact on the game, I think it'll really be to our advantage. Guys, an interesting take. We'll see if they can slow his roll. Thanks, Doris. Martinez, he's checked in for Nate Robinson. Nelson with it. Now defended by Martinez. Now here's Thornton. Just five on the clock. Selinger, no good. 
Well, you know, head coach Brad Stevens of the Celtics is coaching a much different game in the pros than we see in college. I mean, a lot of differences. But if anybody can make that transition, I really think he's certainly the guy that could. He's bright, 